739 right now. It is the Ryan Kevin Morning Show. A little TLC classic. And what about your friends? The movie Crazy Sexy Cool last night on VH1. I'm sure it's going to do blockbuster ratings. And uh, there were some scenes in there that mentioned two of the people that are in the studio with us right now. My uh-huh. man Ian Burke. Yes, sir. Good morning. What up, E? What's happening? How you been, man? I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain. And Crystal. How you doing? What's going on, baby? <laughs> I'm doing good. You How good? You? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm reading your tweets this morning. You, you, you're you very positive even after the airing last night. You say, you know, we're going to be on the Ryan Cameron show this morning. We're going to keep it positive. And even some of the people reacting. I was like, one guy was like, I can't wait to hear your side of the story. <laughs> Before I get to that, let's talk to you, Ian. What do you think of the movie? I, th- I thought it was really good. I thought it was good. Okay, one being awesome, five being nowhere near. What do you think? Rated. One, one, one being just totally accurate. Okay, oh. Uh, I say a 3.5. A 3.5? Yeah. What part did you say? I don't know. Well, well being that I was there in the beginning, yeah. Um, the whole way that the girls got together was totally fictitious for the most part. Um, you know, that, that was like the main thing that stood out to me. Um, and there a lot of people, a lot of key essential people uh, that weren't ne- not just essential to the movie, but right. essential to the Atlanta music scene right. were left out. To the careers, even. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I was just like, well, okay. You know, I, I feel like that could have been done a little better. But, you know, overall, um, I thought that, you know, they, they did a good job providing entertainment mm-hmm. for people to see. Yeah, and I mean, people talk about that with, with movies that sometimes they they take that poetic license. Exactly, that, and, that creative license, yeah. and, and they do what they do. Yeah. And I'm not mad at that, you know what I'm saying? Overall, there's was, was a story about, you know, four, I, I say four women who went to pursue their dreams, even though uh, one of the women's situation was short, short-lived. Right. You, you can't deny her, her part mm-hmm. in the building of this success story. Okay, and I know, like, in the beginning, I remember just like, I know this didn't have anything to do with the movie last night, but Atlanta picked the first TLC song because when Lamont Bowles brought them to my show when I was doing Nights, we played the entire album and fans called in and said which song they was going to pick. It just it wasn't like they was in the Volkswagen one day and it came on the radio. Oh, <laughs> um, did it happen like no, that? No, but, but, but wait a minute, wait a minute. That wasn't even V103. That was another station. Yeah. That wasn't even in existence <laughs> at the time. It's about so. 107.8. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, but, you know, I understand that when you're trying to make a, a story concise. Right, right. But right. when we come back, this is the scene that everybody wants to talk about. Uh, and, and Crystal, you know, I know that... When I saw it, I was like, no. I mean, if Pebbles was mad, I really wanted to get your opinion on what you thought about it. And so if you missed it last night, this was a scene that that mentions Crystal and and her audition for L.A. Reid and Pebbles. And we come back, don't go anywhere. We're going to let you hear what she has to say about this part. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Good job. Thank you. My husband and I will discuss this, and we'll give you a call. Thanks. Lisa, Tion, can you wait a second? Oh, Crystal, you're okay. You can go. We'll hear what Crystal thinks about that and what was true and what was not true when we come back on the Ryan Cameron Morning Show. Don't go anywhere, because I can't wait to hear what Crystal has to say, and I know you can't either. I know one thing. Pebbles came off evil as a mug. They call it a girl shook night. I just kept waiting on to say, no wire hangers. <laughs> <laughs> Rich and Merritt have done what are you? The Hawks tickets winner. Congratulations. We'll see you November 1st. What up, Crash? Oh, man. Every time.